Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampin Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we are continuing our Let's Play of Pool of Radiance. In the last episode, we beat um, a big army led by an ogre over in So-Called Keep. We used the necklace, misused the necklace a couple times, <laughs> and we had to uh, do a little bit of save scum. And it was... Um, yeah, it was kind of a spectacle to behold, but we overcame it. Um, there are a few things. Let me check with the party here. Okay, so we have her... We'll put Rose with her longsword, and we'll view, like, what does this do with the strength? 14, okay. And then we will equip... Her with the two-handed sword. Okay. Um, so actually, she kept missing with the long sword in the previous battle, but um, you know, the long sword has better numbers, so we're gonna go ahead and just have her um, stick with the long sword, and then we are going to have her trade her two-handed sword. To, of all people, Craven! Because Craven actually doesn't have a short range weapon at this juncture, but he does now. So, so called Keep. This kept happening incessantly last episode when we were trying to memorize some spells. <laughs> the undead came. We um, bothered an elfin corpse, and it had a um, password with elvish runes. And in the PC version, that was actually an anti piracy device, but here in the NES version, you just say, Give password and the undead leave like good little undead boys. That's just life in my so-called keep. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. <laughs> so, like, the anti-piracy thing was, like, you had to say the thing from the Dakota ring to the skeletons? Yep. So is that battle with the skeletons, like, really impossible then? You can't just brute force your way through it? Almost all of the battles are harder in the PC versions than they are here in the NES version. Ah. Yeah, the any this so, like, is... like, comparatively to the rest of the battles in that game, is that battle really hard? I think you needed to actually enter the keep. I'm not entirely certain. If you've played the PC version, let me know. But yeah, I think you do need it to actually enter the keep. There are traces of a terrible battle. And they aren't just referring to the battle we fought. Okay. We'll go east. This room seems to have been an armory. The arms and armor here are rusted and useless. Um, actually, I think there was something to discover in here. And when you are in look mode, um, you will have more enemy encounters. Okay. So nothing in here. I. This is the remains of a smithy. There are broken bellows and rusty forges. Frogs croak loudly outside. Aww. Rib it. The frog's drone becomes louder. Parlay! Parlay with the frog, okay. Hi, Mr. Frog! Uh, who should be the speaker? I feel like either Splinter or Pumpkin, because they're magical, they might connect to the frog more. Nice. Hi, Froggy! Frogs can't understand you! Oh. It's a frog! Why are we talking to the frog? Why does the skeleton keep bothering us? That is a good point. Oh, look at them. These guys are... not too terribly difficult to vanquish. Thankfully. Is there poison damage in this game? There is poison damage. I don't think these guys actually do it too much. They can, but they usually don't. Really? You could 
couldn't have hit it for one more nightshade. You know, we always refer to, we always talk about, like, pumpkin and, um, splinter as our magical peeps. But Nightshade and Craven are magical, too. I feel like... Okay, so you know how when you're looking up at, like, magical aesthetics on Tumblr? Like, I feel like Pumpkin and Splinter are, like, the more cottagecore kind of aesthetic. And, like... Craven Nightshade and, and Nightshade Craven, like, the... went to magic... They went to freaking Hogwarts. They're, like, the more straight-up, like, goth dark magic. Yeah, they like found a book and they're like, yeah, I'm reading this dark book. There's a hammer among the broken wood. Do you take it? Oh, yeah. Pumpkin, you get a hammer. Um, so Pumpkin, what's gonna happen is the hammer... We're gonna wait and... Actually, no. We can... I can do this. I'm smart. Okay, so... Hammer, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1. What did that... Did that do anything to Thacko? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So she will be dropping the other hammer. Awesome Possum and Radical Rex. We don't do much with Awesome Possum and Radical Rex. We have the game, but we don't really do anything with it. Do, 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 do. Undead Patrol! We just really like you. Traces of a terrible battle. This is the remains of a shrine. There are two dried up orc bodies with contorted faces. The main part of the shrine is to the south. Pale shadow appears. What do we do? Why, we should advance. Yeah. You try all the words from the elf scroll. The shadow begins to speak. I am a Ferran Martinez of so-called keep. Tell me, what has become of Flan? Tell the truth. What destroyed Flan were those who gained their terrible power from the magic pool. The pool of radiance? Yes, that's the one. It was monsters such as Tyrannothrachus, Edranka, and Torath who led them. Mendor the Wise had gathered many records about them, but his library was overrun and the books were lost. There is an illusionary wall in the armory. Go to the other side of the wall. There you will find some useful items. I'll give you the passwords to avoid battling the guards. Flan is rebuilt, so I can sleep peacefully now. Goodbye! Martinez slowly fades from view. Yes! Traces of a terrible battle. Illusionary wall in the armory. We were just at the armory, weren't we? Yeah, but maybe it's like some games where, like, it won't let you see it because your character doesn't know to look for it. Uh. You find a secret army armory after you pass through an illusionary section of the wall. Something glitters in the northwest corner. There's a floor lamp at the corner and something is hung from it. 
There is a shield, a mace, a sword, and chainmail. This equipment has not been tarnished by age. Do you take them? Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's all so good! Da -da. Rose has it. Splinter can't carry no more. Pumpkin, you get a mace! Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, where was the other place I was supposed to go? The guy said go somewhere else, too. This room is filled with rotten wood. It seems that there had been cots and lockers. Nothing valuable remains in the room. That's suspicious. <laughs> yeah, no. A low hanging haze congeals into wispy shadows, and the shadows begin to moan. It's a ghost! The shadows make a terrible keening noise. Oh! Parlay! You read words from the elf scroll. The shadows drift toward you and begin to talk. We were soldiers of the keep. The head cleric bound our spirits here as gods. There is the head cleric's diary. Read it! A ghost points to the floor. It's good! Read it! Highly recommend! Five out of five stars! You find a diary hidden under the floorboard. When you turn the page of the diary, you see written, Monsters attacked us again. They knew how to fight better than kobolds or goblins. I think they have a strong leader. They're too good. We can't beat them in this condition. Ferran Martinez has prepared terrible spells. Now we have no other choice but to defend ourselves. You find precious stones with the diary. Do you take them? Oh, oh yeah! Yeah. Nighttime. Large. We've done most of the things in here. Undead Patrol! Just making sure you guys aren't enjoying life too much. If we can't enjoy life, neither can you. Yes, exactly. We're, we were killed by those people that you just, you know, wasted last episode. Undead Patrol! Okay, what's wrong with this room? Of course, as we search, you know what we're gonna find! Monsters? Undead Patrols, yep. I remember, though, and this could just be my memory blanking on me here, um, but I remember there being two battles with, um, armies led by ogres in so-called keep? Hmm. I don't know. Or maybe my memory just got fuzzy. That's very likely. Do -do -do. at night, isn't it? Not a whole lot of color. Well, no, because it's night. You don't... I mean, like, how much color does anybody see at night? Do well, I don't know. Like, you think there'd be little lights. Um, I'm dead, Patrol. Um, you were talking about lights or something? Um, I'll have you know, um, we don't do lights here in so-called... Yeah, you certainly don't go into them or anything. Yeah, no, we don't go into them, but we don't like lights. Uh, shall we do the, um, equipping? Okay, that shield. Oh, dude, yeah. Mm. 
Hmm. Do other people want a shield, though? You know what? The shield's worth that much. I can buy more. Um... Okay, so she has some really great plate mail right now. But I would... So... That brings it down to negative one. That just brings it down to one. So, yeah. Um, chainmail. Yeah. So the chainmail will get sold. Another long sword. So... Uh, so we have eight plus one. Eight plus one. 8 plus 1 is equal to 8 plus 1. You don't have to be a math expert to know that. Um, okay, she has a flail. Pumpkin has a flail. 6 plus 1. 6 plus 3! Well, that's just math! Yeah! So he can give us, what, 50 cent gold pieces? And actually, this game doesn't even do smaller denominations, though. In the PC version, like, they had, like, copper and silver equals gold. It was oh, a little, God. it was a little more to manage. Yeah. Um, and, like, every time you defeated a bad guy in the PC version, you would, like, get to pick up, like, the kobold's useless swords. So, the NES version has a lot of advantages over the, uh, PC Yeah, it sounds one. like it's been streamlined a lot. It has, yeah. Are there purists who think, like, oh, this game's too easy, the PC is the only real way to play it? I don't know, um... Like, what's the fandom like of this game? Dedicated. <laughs> Ship leaving for Flan is at the anchor. Return to Flan and you board the ship. And actually, we need to rest at an inn. It'll be nice not to have, a give, not to, have to give a password every two minutes. That is going to be nice. Undead patrol! Undead patrol! Just, just make you... Sh uh -oh. There are several groups, and we're going to leave the tavern. I don't want to play with the tavern. Do, 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 do. Um, Rose could actually use a brief um, a hit point regain. And everyone else is looking pretty groovy, so we're gonna go ahead and have Splinter rememorize, and that should open it up for us to go. City Hall! Do, 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 do. You enter the City Hall. Let me check whether we owe you a reward. We got so called keep back thanks to you. We can go anywhere by boat now. Take your reward. Oh, yeah! Nice! Now I'll give you your commission. The slums need to be cleared of monsters. We're working on it. Find any history books about Flan in the old times. A powerful weapon will be sold in Podol Plaza. Go to see who gets it and what kind of weapon it is. I have given all the missions that I may. You know, I think... We might have time to head on over to Podol Plaza. Actually, I wonder, can anybody train, or should we... You know, let's run over to Podol Plaza. And actually, oh my god, this is so cool. So did you guys know that this game has an overworld? Boarding fees, five gold pieces. Alright, the boat departs um, from the end of the pier there. Um, uh, we are heading to the west of Flan. Oh. Oh, wow. Yep, so here is the overworld. Why are we on a horse? You know, I always wonder that. Where do they get the horse? 
yeah, this area is actually just a lot quicker. I think we want to go to the south gate? To the north gate? The plaza ahead is crowded with monsters. Well, what shall you do? I think this is a typo. Because, like, it should be... Who's she talking to? Yeah, what shall you do? Like, um... It should be what shall we do? Because she's leading the party. Well, what shall we do? Um... Do we enter boldly, disguise ourselves, or, um... Go for... Let's disguise stuff. ourselves. Okay. The goblins say, There was a glittering pool. He barely touched it, and the poor man melted. You are approached by hobgoblins. The monsters stare at you and leave laughing. <laughs> the ogres say, Yeah, there was a glittering pool, and he barely touched it, and the poor man melted. An ogre auctioneer holding either a staff or a wand is uh, speaking. Welcome to the auction! The bidding is about to start! Uh... What do we do? G Aren't watch and listen the same thing? Yeah, do you want to watch or listen? I mean, I would assume that both would be covered. We'll watch. The auction price climbs to 50,000 gold pieces. A man standing very close to an ogre Wait, that's has 5, the high... gold pieces. 5,000. I know how to read numbers. <laughs> um, we'll just keep watching. Anyone? Anyone else? Well, it's settled. The man and the ogre exchange the item and a bag. The auction ends. The monster leaves, grumbling and complaining. They're always trying to scam me. Alright. To the west of Flan. Yeah, I always wonder where do they get the horses? There's a boat to Flan. And we will head on over to Flan. All right, Clerk, uh, we uh, saw who got the Wand of Illumination. Let me check whether we owe you a reward. I praise your completion of the mission at Podol Plaza. Take your reward. Oh, yeah. Now I'll give you your commission. The slums need to be cleared of monsters. We're working on it. Find any history books about Flan in the old times. Working on it. Gotta get through the slums to get there, honey. Counselor Cadorna wants you to accept a special commission. Uh. That one's new. Yeah. This feels a little early for this. Go to the East Room. I have given all the missions that I may. Uh, my family treasure is hidden in this textile. But the house. monsters say to stay away from there. Really? You're gonna do what the monsters tell you? I am Counselor Cadorna. You're gonna I do what I say. I did it for say. you. I am Counselor Cadorna. Go and get it back, but be careful. I sent one of my servants, Skull Crusher, but he never came back. I'll escort you to the exit. What does that guard think we're gonna do? And, uh, uh, it's just, you know, Kadorna gave you his mission, so now you can do the respectable thing and go. Alright, let's see if anybody can train. You need a thousand gold pieces for training. Who wants to train? Rose could be a fighter at three level. Do you want to be trained? Oh, yeah. Hells yeah. Big money, big money. Lady luck. Oh, yeah. All right, your training's finished. Anybody else want to get trained? What's your answer? All right. 
Splinter could be a cleric at two level. That's okay, money. You need a thousand gold pieces for training. You don't have enough experience, you're still too green. Yeah, it takes forever with the multi-classes, dude. Pumpkin was dead for that one battle, so... Well, she can be a cleric at two level, living or dead. <laughs> you want to be trained? Was, huh. was that two? Uh, looks like it. Ah. See, guys, sometimes you can get a bad roll of the dice. You don't have enough experience. Still too green, you green baby. Nightshade, you don't have enough experience. Yeah, I doubt Nightshade can be upgrading to anything. Yeah, Alright, Nightshade can be a thief at two level. You want to be trained? Was that like a just a two? It looks like Ugh. it. You don't have enough experience. Yeah, because also it won't like. He's not going to take you all the way to where you need to be. You know. Um, what do you mean? Like so, even if Rose could be like a fifth level fighter or whatever. You know, like, we would have to keep having him train. He wouldn't oh. just take her from, like, one to five, even if she acquired enough experience. Because he wants that sweet money. He wants the money. Although, really, he could just charge us, like, the five times the amount and take her five levels up, you know? Yeah, no. You don't have enough experience. He, Craven, could be another um, level of thief, though. Oh, I, sorry, I accidentally hit Rose there. Alright, who wants to train? Craven could be a thief at two level. Do you want to be trained? Dude! Uh, two points again. Alright, your training is finished. Does anybody else want to be trained? What is your answer? Uh, my answer would be no to that. So, yeah. But Rose has a really good constitution score, though. And that's good. Um, Rose will actually, as you can see, have to get Cure Light Wounds um, yeah. done on her. But guys, uh, we are going to go ahead and leave the save the game from this menu, and you'll see the world famous NES message of make sure you hold reset as you turn the power like, off. Like, is that really a thing? You know, the time you did not hit reset was the time you needed to. I feel like, in general, I don't have too much experience with NES games that save. There weren't many, no. Like, but I yeah. played original Legend of Zelda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. But um, that didn't last too long either. But like, the thing with it though is like, um. Usually, it's no problem if you don't hold reset while turning the power off, but there is, there is some, uh, there is like a little bit of information transfer between the system and the cartridge to make sure everything gets properly stored on the cartridge. I think reset has to be held down. Usually, it's no problem. But the time you forgot to hold reset down, that's going to be the time it'll mess you up, you know? So, uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. You know you're the best fans of any YouTuber in the world. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to go ahead, save this game. Do you wish to save this game? Will you continue? No, nope, because we're signing. I don't signing. get what her point is. Like, I, like, I get the jock dude. Like, he trains us, but like... She's the host. She's the hostess. I mean, not to be that person, but why can't the jock dude just host? Then I'll save your game and quit. Caution, to protect your save game, press the reset button before switching the machine off. Otherwise, your save game will be deleted. I mean, it just seems like such an unnecessary expense. 
it's cutting into Jock Dude's profits because he has to pay her to host when he would be more than capable of doing that himself. Does he get that much business because we appear to be the only ones in there ever? Okay, maybe Jock Dude is banging her. Probably. Like, that's probably what it is. But as you guys can see, we held reset. We shut the game off. So uh, next time, we'll have some more fun with Pool of Radiance. Love you guys. You're the best. Bye! Bye.